Interesting to see who, the, how they match up on the front line. The Bulls three and five in the preseason, 30 and 52. A year ago, and the opening tap goes to Bill Cartwright and Gerald Wilkins on the drive, and rejected by Michael Jordan. And this is Jordan. Gerald Wilkins on him. He has his hands full. Jordan can't get the shot away. This is Curitan. And Curitan ties the game. It's to Ewing who works on Curitan. That shot is off and off of Granville Waiters. And the shot by Cartwright is rejected by Michael Jordan. And he has two block shots. Triple team. And can't find anyone open and throws it away. Steve Coulter with the steal. This is Jordan. Bounce pass for Oakley. I'm surprised that the Bulls won for him and not Johnny Dawkins. Tip away. This is Jordan. Jordan drive up high off the glass. No good. Follow up is good by Brad Seller. Jordan with the first step and the reverse layup doesn't get it, but the foul is called. Patrick Ewing on the court for the uh, seven or so minutes. He's Bruce Beck mentioned pass down court stolen by Steve Coulter. Here comes Coulter three on two Chicago the pass to Jordan and Jordan puts it up and doesn't get it. And Kenny Walker up front and this is coming. Driving into the lane has it taken away by Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Who will work for his shots. Trying to work his way inside and he will draw the foul. At least you make him earn the shots from the he line. Six rebounds already. John. 31 25 Chicago by six Oakley to Jordan on the baseline happens every day with Michael Jordan but it's still a crowd pleaser QB honestly believes that that foul should not have been called Sparrow trying to force it inside to Cartwright and Jordan with the steal this is Jordan with a quick step around his man puts it up and scores the one and only Chicago. This is Jordan. Wide open jumper. He doesn't get it. Rebound. Curitan who goes up high for it. And this is Jordan. Does it's the roll. How do you describe that? <laughs> God, so you've got to box him. Great rebound by Earl Curitan, too. Coulter to Jordan inside, and the whistle blows before the shot. And Jordan has 14. 40 seconds to play in the first half. Jordan with Gerald Wilkins on it. Jordan working for a shot. Spins to the baseline. Puts it up. Doesn't get it. And the foul is called on Wilkins. He's also not distorting the offense. Kenny Walker over for 2 also in the first half in the field. A steal by Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan working down low. Taps it back out. And gets it in return and turnaround is good. After a couple of games, they realized they had to put double coverage in. Jordan with the turnaround. High off the glass. This one doesn't go. Tapped by Kenny Walker. Jordan with the rebound. Oh, what a baseline move by Michael Jordan. I mean, you thought he was going underneath, but somehow he pulled back and got that shot off. Let's have a look at Michael Jordan here. Here's that baseline move. Ewing down deep. Short hook. Doesn't go. Rebound. Jordan. Here come the Bulls. Three on two. Jordan. With the drive, lays it in. I don't know of a player, John, who hangs in the league better than Michael Jordan does. Maybe that little guy in Atlanta can do it, but there's nobody like Michael Jordan. To Michael Jordan. Who's going to help him now? Fakes once, off the baseline, draws the foul. Taunting Jordan, yelling Michael, but from the applause he got at the uh, player introduction, this is Jordan. Working on Trent Tucker, gets the step on him and slips and falls to the floor. Tucker will draw the personal. It was wide open, and that's what Jordan exploited. Pop the ball back outside. No one could hit that jumper. Oakley again. Back rim. No good. Comes right back to him. And a great oh! pass inside. Wow. Oh, what a pass from Charles Oakley to Michael the Jordan. Perim perimeter a lot is because he's a great passer. How about this? With Oakley's body. Look at that. Look. Wow. To get one off. They lead it by two. Jordan puts it up and hits. The basket loose count. ball. Bounce pass. Trent Tucker. Wasn't as pretty as Oakley's, but it was a terrific pass by Cummings. Back comes Jordan, sails through the air and lays it home. But so what if you give it up like that? A lot of time remaining. Jordan on Tucker. Baseline jumper is good. Tucker playing. 
33 points for Michael Jordan. Knicks have outscored Chicago 13 to 4 in this period and lead it by 5. 86 81, turnaround, Jordan good. Michael Jordan now with 35 points. Granger back down the lane, bounces inside. Pat Cummings batted away by Michael Jordan. Most emphatically. As you've said, Michael Jordan is all over this court this evening. But from behind, Cummings had no idea that was going to happen. Knicks by five, and this is Jordan. Jordan using the pick, puts up the jumper and curls it home. Boy, and Tucker really bothered him, but so what? To Jordan, trying to shake Rory Sparrow. And will drive into the lane and dish it off to Curitan. Curitan curls it home in the backcourt. That's a good gamble by Ewing because Corzine isn't quick enough to go anywhere. This is Jordan working for his shot. Gets a short jumper. It doesn't go, but he draws the foul. He can get things his way. Sparrow at 6-2, and immediately the Bulls are exploiting that size difference. 94 all. Here is Jordan again. All alone. Rory Sparrow turns off the glass. 98-96 Chicago. 118. Jordan with the turnaround. And the whistle and the foul. Or maybe said he couldn't break an, an arena record, perhaps. But for an opposing play. And there it is. And timeout on the floor with a minute 15 remaining to be played. Half the field, they'll begin to clear out the lob for Michael Jordan. I can't believe it. They let that happen. Bolter delivering the long pass. They cleared the court out. Outside, Michael Jordan. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Rory Sparrow working on it. Jordan to the basket and scores. Hubie Brown wants timeout. 22 seconds remaining to be played. 48 points for Michael Jordan. 104 to 100 Chicago. The Knicks unable to find any answer of containment. John, you made the point earlier as we take another look at Michael Jordan's move to the basket. And with Sparrow, the Bulls with the ball and a three-point lead, and Rory Sparrow all over Steve Coulter. No foul is called, and Michael Jordan will dribble the clock out, and Kenny Walker will reach him with four seconds remaining. Michael Jordan looking for 50 with a couple here. Looking for and getting his 50th point of the night. Four points, four seconds rather, two, one, and Rory Sparrow casts off and it will not go. That is the end of the game, and the Chicago Bulls make Doug Collins a winner his first time out, and it is a happy Doug Collins on the far side. 50 points for Michael Jordan. The Bulls win it 108 to 103.